Now, I, I did read enough of the treaty uh, with my own eyes to see that certain new tariffs that Trudeau brought in three years ago or two years ago are being removed with the, on class six and class seven milk That's products. Right. I don't even know what that is. I think it's like powdered milk protein or something. So I know yeah. that some of his dairy protectionism is gone. What's the, what's the, uh, are, are Quebec dairy farmers in, uh, are they still protected? Are they still gonna get subsidies? How's that gonna work, Professor? Um, I think that um, this, what we're seeing is the the death knell of supply management in Canada. Um, I've written two papers on this, and by the way, I'm not funded by anybody in the agriculture industry or banks or financial institutions. I did this study on my own, looking at the data and so forth. Um, it is a monumental failure. The supply management, when you strip it away, has the as, as identical business model characteristics of the late Soviet, former Soviet Union. That is to say, you restrict or ban or exclude foreign products from coming into your economy, which we did. That's point step one. Step two, you fix the supply, the annual production of that product. It could be shoes, it could be apartments. In this instance, it's milk. And thirdly, you fix the price. That in strip right down is the essence of the centrally planned economy everywhere. North Korea, Cuba, Venezuela, doesn't matter. It has been a failure everywhere in the world. And let's take away the word communism. It's so inflammatory. Take away the word supply management has become inflammatory. Those three characteristics I've just described, which describes uh, uh, supply management, have been a failure everywhere in the world in the last 300 years. They're without an exception whatsoever. It is a system designed to exploit low income and ordinary consumers and to reward a very small number of producers. Having said that, I think that Mr. Trudeau did see that the wind was blowing in the opposite direction. We are the only country, Ezra, on, in, on the planet Earth that still has any supply management system. And, and even beyond that, we could some people could say, oh, well, those other countries were ahead of the curve. Within agriculture, the, the chicken farmers and the, and the dairy farmers are the only farmers, and they're only 5% of our farming population in Canada. Hmm. They're the only farmers that have supply management. Our beef farmers in Western Canada do not have supply management. Our grain farmers, who are extraordinarily successful, do not have supply management. Hmm. Our hog farmers, our fruit farmers, our vegetable farmers, it's only these two. And I would argue that the reason they've sunk from 150,000 farmers, dairy farmers, in 1971, when Pierre Trudeau set it up, and they've sunk, uh, collapsed down to 9,000 today, is because of supply management. Wow. It's made it so expensive. Young people, young men and women, cannot enter supply uh, uh, dairy farming because the cost of the quota, the license to to produce the milk, and I'm not talking the cow, I'm talking the license, mm -hmm. is so expensive, most young people can't afford it. It's driven potential people who wanted to go into dairy farming out of dairy farming. And so the sooner it can go, the better it will be for the dairy farmers as well as consumers in Canada. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.